Whatever is Samsung Ice Maker Changeout. Now, a lot of times Samsung Ice Makers are not sold complete. Some are, some are not. The ones that are not sold complete are all in these different components. Now, uh, this is the motor head, um, and this is actually the ice mold, and this is what breaks a lot. It kind of turns like this when it spits ice out, and if you have anything that gets stuck in the way, it will break this right in half. A good example is, come over here to the fridge, and I'm gonna actually show you one that is broken in half. This is a Samsung refrigerator, and inside, we can see our ice mold here broke right in half. Now if it does that, you're gonna have to turn the ice maker off and basically fix this, otherwise it's just gonna pour water into the bucket and it will cause ice just to go all the way down into the freezer, cause all kinds of problems. We're also gonna change this bucket out here because what happened is when this piece broke, which sits above the bucket, it started pouring water into the auger bucket here and so what happened is this thing tried to start turning and it just completely shattered everything inside so that's why if this ever breaks this little tiny cheap part it can cause mayhem as far as breaking your bucket breaking your motor head and costing you anywhere from two to three hundred dollars for repair so if this little mold ever breaks then you definitely just turn the ice maker off clear all your ice out and then change this guy out and then you're fixed. So what we're gonna do is change all this stuff out and then we'll show you kind of how the operational repair works. The only thing you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver for this Samsung refrigerator now. Um, you can use just a regular Phillips screwdriver or you can use a drill, which I'm gonna use a drill. Now if you use a drill, you got to be very careful because you're messing with very tender plastic. So if you're not real familiar with just barely touching the drill and kind of backing in and backing out and you're just one of those people who just rum rum, you know, then what's going to happen is you're going to break that plastic right in half. So I would use just a regular screwdriver if you're afraid to do that. So you only have two screws here at the top on this model. So what you're going to do is actually go up inside here. We're going to take out that screw. Go right over here. I'm gonna take out this little guy. All right. And then the way this comes out is it's gonna drop down and then basically slide out. All right. So you're gonna pull it out when you want it. You're gonna drop it down, pull it out, and then you got a little harness right here. And all you're gonna do unhook this harness here and then we can actually take the whole piece out so in this piece that we're going to change out this plastic piece here has a sensor in it this sensor is just basically just a little plastic piece that holds on you have to replace this piece on your new one so here's our new one right here and here's our broken one so what we're going to do is actually put this piece onto this piece and then basically we're gonna work this piece back up into the frame because this whole frame is sold separately as well so the frame the ice maker head and this piece are all sold separately and so what we're gonna do is we kinda have to take it apart and put it all back together alright this is an easy piece to take apart you're gonna depress on this piece and then it's gonna pop up and then you're just gonna slide it right out and then, so this piece is right here, and then this is just a piece of foam that keeps your sensor in place. You're going to want to reuse that. And then you're going to actually take this little guy out of here, and this is just a little hook, and then voila, there's that piece. So now we'll bring the new one over. So you probably want to put it in the foam first. That makes it easy to deal with. You can actually see the indentions. So if you put it in here, the wire indention is there. And we can rotate it back through. And it 
should slide right in. There it is. And we're going to take this piece. You want to put this piece in first. All right, and then once you got that piece in, you need to take this piece and snap it in. Voila. So there's that. Now hooking it to the ice maker, you have two ends here. You have this end and this end. What we're going to do is we're going to actually match up this end first. I'm going to put this guy in. And then over here, we're basically going to just rotate this and push it in there. There it is. There you go. Now your ice maker is back together. So if you need to replace the head, which is this piece, as well as this whole piece, I'm going to show you how to replace the head now, which means we got to take this back apart, which is okay. We're basically going to pull this guy back out. There we go. We're going to take our little piece back apart. I need to save all these real quick. Then the ice maker itself is kind of looped in here, so we're going to pull out so we have everything out. And then last but least, we're actually going to just, it slides right out. So just slide out. So it's real simple. Now, if you break this piece, or if this piece is broken here or up here, you have to order this separately. It's usually sold as a support. That's what it's called. We sell them online. But if you uh, do break this, there's no salvaging it. So make sure you buy one of these as well as whatever else you need. You may only need this. You may only need this. So you kind of have to take everything out and see what you need. So this is our new ice maker head or motor. Um, and what we're going to do is actually we're just going to take off our rubber pieces here. Otherwise it will be really hard to slide in. And we're going to go in. Well, sorry about that. We're going to go in and slide it right in there. And that's it. That's how you kind of lock it into place. Now all we got to do is reroute all this stuff back through. We're going to keep this sensor out because we're going to put it back in our new piece here. This is just basically going to go through like this and then plug in like this and then you're ready to hook up. Now to install this we're actually going to go back and put our sensor back in. back in The first thing you're going to do is hook your harness to that harness. So we're just going to kind of hold it like that. You don't have to be too fragile with it. Just make sure it doesn't fall on the floor when you're holding it. So there we go. We're going to install it there. And then basically, you're just going to make sure you've got to get your pipe. This pipe right here has to go in to that area. And then you, you can see how you're going to slide this thing in. So what you're going to do is just kind of reroute it and then just slide it back in. And it should kind of lock in in the back and just kind of hang here. And you're going to put your two screws back up. And then we'll run a cycle and make sure it's all running properly. So with your ice maker, um, this is on the front of a Samsung. On the front of um, other Samsungs, it might look a little different, but they have an ice on and off. You want to make sure you turn that off before you do this repair, um, or either remove the ice maker because that head, if it cycles, 
is going to actually call for water and you can end up getting water all over the floor and everywhere else. But what we're going to do now is since we have finished the repair, we're going to take this and we're going to turn it back on so it's just cubed. And so now we're going to actually run a test inside. Now inside there is a test button right here. We're actually going to press this guy and there it goes. You can see how it is acting as if it's flipping and dumping the ice. There's none in there obviously because we just put this in. But when this pops back over, we'll see it fill with water. All right, so when you put this bucket in, you got this, the biggest thing to keep uh, that's important is this rod here. This rod is gonna go right into that plastic chute right there. You gotta make sure you get this rod in there. Um, and you're gonna wanna match up that auger motor right there, that steel piece that's sticking out with your piece here. So you might have to turn this to kind of match it up. All right, so what we're gonna do is actually slide this in. That simple. Now, if you ever have to take it out, you know, this one says lift and pull, which means that and pull it out. So, real easy to install.